mongoose has become unavailable all around the world. It's on a list from the U.S. government and internationally called CITES, where you cannot bring it in, you cannot export it from India, and so it's done. <laughs> but we know that artists love mongoose because it's an in-between quality. It's not bristle and it's not sable. And they can do things with it that you couldn't do with a standard bristle or sable brush. Well, how do you go about creating a hair to replace mongoose? This was something that really required some thinking. My daughter actually is a painter and uh, she knows many professional fine artists throughout the world actually. She mentioned that, you know, that they were looking for something and I started to look around. Uh, fortunately, in recent years, uh, the synthetic industry has come up with some very interesting new uh, synthetic choices to use in making a brush. There's no mongoose synthetic. Uh, that actually doesn't work. People have tried it. There are mongoose synthetic brushes on the market, but they're not anything like mongoose. By f experimenting, with various blends of natural hairs of several kinds and blends of synthetic hairs of the new types of synthetics that actually act more like a natural hair. They'll uh, either wick up the, the, the paint or they uh, will hold paint like a bristle because of the way they're designed. So those are introduced into the brush and together we had to experiment to find the right mix to produce the right quality that is like mongoose. It has all the properties that people love of mongoose for glazing and coming to a good sharp point or coming to a nice edge, but it doesn't puff up quite the same way as mongoose does over time and it allows you to do things that you couldn't honestly have done with mongoose. It's much stronger than mongoose. We're very proud of this brush. It, there was a lot of back and forth. There are many different uh, times that we've had samples sent to us that we've tested and gone back and forth between the United States here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and in, in Germany uh, with our brush maker, who is an experienced brush maker that's been in business for a long time. The company's been in business for over a hundred years, I believe and the brush makers involved have been there very, a very long time. Uh, the owner of the company is a brush maker himself and uh, his father was a brush maker. So they, they take this extremely seriously just as we do at Jerry's. We take it very seriously. If we're gonna develop something today, we want something that's not just like something else. We want something that's better and that's what the Hamburg brush is.